where we're staying. <laughs> oh, okay, I see. The signs. Homewood Suites front entrance. Right here. Okay, so we're staying at the Homewood Suites by Hilton, and this is uh, we're being checked in. So this is interesting. Okay, let's find the front desk. Okay, so I forgot my wallet, so they moved the trash can, but they still put the dirt. Okay, so so far, customer service not too great. I wasn't sure where my room was exactly. Um, also, I had to ask where breakfast was, and apparently it's at the next hotel over. So um, this is going to be fun. Hopefully, the room is uh, worth it. It's only seventy bucks, but I think you turn right, and then yeah, go right. Oh, watch out for that. Go right. And then you turn, I think you, there's an elevator right after the ice. There's a pool and a fitness room. There you go, right there. Yes. 619. Smell old. Uh, down to the left. It smells like Mount Vernon. <laughs> Thank God it's locked. Take a quick look. The dishwasher's going. Did you start the dishwasher? No. Okay. Looks like brand new. Looks like brand new cabinets. Oh, we got all the pots and pans. We got a new microwave. We got a little. Let's move the couch. Two skillet. Take a look. You want to take a nap? Hey, they got more sinks. Got a safe. Oh, it's empty. Got an ironing board and an iron. Got your hair dryer. Looks like a brand new hair dryer. Let's see the bathroom. No tub, but we do have a. Where's the light switch? Where's the light switch? Oh, a light switch is outside. Oh, there you go. Okay, there we go. And a stand up shower. A toilet, lots of towels. And that is, that's a king size bed. Not bad. Let's see our view. <gasps> oh, there's a pool. We got the pool. Ooh. The pool furniture is a mess. Oh. The pool looks very cloudy, but we'll see when we get there. But yeah, the pool furniture is a mess. There is a hot tub. I'm not getting in there. There's a hot tub? There's a hot tub. Okay, so... Room's okay. It's nice. It's uh, big. It sleeps four. Um, it was uh, cost me $78 on hot wire. I just paid $10 for incidentals. So, um, so far, it's okay. It's not on first impression. Walking in with all the construction, I understand. But if they're going to have a lot of construction going on, and it doesn't look so great, like with the trash sitting outside, you think they would step up their game just a bit to help um, kind of improve the atmosphere a little bit. So, I mean, for Hilton, I'd expect a little more. So we'll see what happens. It's only one night, so we'll see what happens throughout the tonight and tomorrow. Um, but it's okay. Three stars? Yeah, I would give it three stars right now. So we'll, we'll see what happens uh, later on tonight. Okay, this is the pool area. They have a grill. And we'll get in later here. Yeah. Hot tub. Pool's not open yet, but it's a little wet. 
but they just cleaned it. The mushroom play area. There we go. So we're headed over to breakfast. As you can tell, they're open. And the pool is open now and it looks very refreshing. The furniture, I don't know why they have white furniture, but you know. Somebody left their shoes. Okay, so overall, let me get some sunlight here. Overall, uh, not bad. I mean, yeah, three stars. I'd probably say that. It's for Hilton. I've stayed at the Hilton before and it was a little bit better. Um, I think it was the one a little bit further down, an actual Hilton in Orlando. But, uh, you know, we walk in, kind of trash sitting out. The AC wasn't working in the lobbies. Um, I understand the lady probably in the front desk probably wasn't having the best of days because she had all the odors from the paint and her makeshift uh, desk, which didn't look really that great. Um, so I can understand maybe she was a little flustered, but you know, we get to the room. The room's nice. Um, it's close to everything other than Volcano Bay and the whole... Uh, <laughs> Universal area being shut down last night when we were leaving it took us two hours to get home um, It was a great experience volcano Bay is amazing um, And then the lady was really nice that was in the night shift last night She was very accommodating because there's no parking at all um, with all the construction going on So you have to just find something somewhere to park um, So she said she was really nice. Let us park where we parked by the fountain um, and I mean overall it was it was good um, Three star, yeah, I would give it a three star. Customer service started off not so great, but then it improved. So, I mean, overall, it's pretty good. So, uh, it was the home, I forgot the name of it. It's uh, <laughs> the Homewood Suites by Hilton. Um, so, I mean, 78 bucks, hot wire, three star, fair. I would, I would definitely say fair. And uh, breakfast is over at the other hotel, by the way, just in case you stay here. Um, and when you go through the entrance, you don't sit at the first uh, bar area because that is for the hotel next door, not for the Homewood Suites people. You have to go to the, uh, I think it's like an auditorium or something like that to eat breakfast, which still it's free. Can't beat a free internet. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you stay here, you'll, you'll probably enjoy it. I mean, the proximity to everything is good. So thank you. Thanks.